peace about them. And, and they reproduce very rapidly and in abundantly. They have no sound, no song like a mockingbird. They're not colorful. And they are really not that pretty. But not one of them, the Bible says, fall to the ground without the Father knowing about it. If that's being the truth, and it is, we can say that whether we understand it or not, whatever happened to us is first filtered through the Father's will. Uh, and can I tell you that we are more valuable than any sparrow? You may ask the person, but Pastor, what about all of these terrible things that happen in this world? Stuff like famines and earthquakes in diverse places and wars, rumors of war, diseases, cancer, MS, and heart disease, and AIDS. What about that? What a, why did God put up with these things? Well, can I tell you still, it's temperate in the fire. Impurities are burnt off of it in the fire. Gold is refined in the fire. Impurities are separated from it in the, the fire. Mm -hmm. Life is tested mm -hmm. in the fire of trouble yes, and heartaches. Oh, yes. It's tested with our disease and even death. Oh, yes. And whatever comes out on the other side of the fire, mm -hmm. on the other side of the darkness, that which goes through the fire is stronger and purer and higher and, and holier. And better than it was if you had not gone through it. Amen. So even in the darkest hour of our life, God is saying something to us. Yes, yes. And it's never so dark that God is not there. Yes, right. And can I tell you we're more valuable yes, than a sparrow? Yes, we are. Well, in 1979, there was a sparrow that somehow got into the wrath of the St. Helen Parish Church in England. Somebody got there. And, and, and they were, earlier that day, they was trying to record a, a, a guitar recital for later on to be broadcast that night. And can I tell you that, that this sparrow, he was not in tune. His chirping was, was off tune with what they was trying to do. So a pastor by the name of Reverend Robin Clark he dismissed the congregation and he asked one of the members, would you go home and get your pellet gun so we can take care of this offensive sparrow? Well, the killing of the sparrow became the front page news. The newspaper picked it up over there in England and it read Reverend Robin orders death of spell. Mm. Uh, this, this, this is true. Mm. Hit the newspaper, front page. Mm. And even members that hadn't been coming to church came out of the woodwork mm. to condemn the pastor for killing this one singer spell. Mm. Uh, the people wrote to the newspaper, and the editorial, talked about how bad it was that the pastor had this Little bird killed. And they quickly remind the pastor of Psalms 84. And which is declared that even sparrows are welcome in the house of the Lord. Amen. Look what it says. It says in 84 and 2, my soul longest. Yeah, even famous for the court of the Lord. My heart and my flies, my flesh cries out for the living God. Yea, the sparrow has found a house, yes. and the sparrow nests for himself, mm -hmm. where she may lay her young, even thine altar, O Lord of hosts, yes. my King and my God. Yes. Blessed are they that dwell in the house, they will be still praising thee. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think, I, I really think I know what Jesus would say. Because he told the disciples to find comfort yeah. in the fact that God cares for the lonely sparrow. All right, all right. Think he said, how much God cares for you. Yes, 
And, and as I get ready to get, come to a close, maybe, maybe you're going through some dark nights of the soul. Mm -hmm. 